The dark web is a scary place, only accessible through a special software that opens up a world of illegal activity. Drugs, fake cash, credit card information, and fake documents. These are just a few things I've seen in my first 10 minutes scrolling around. Estimates place the dark web at between 96 and 99% of the internet, meaning only a small portion of it is viewable through a standard browser and probably for a good reason. But for some reason, the dark web intrigues me. It's like the largely unexplored depths of the ocean, so I'm gonna purchase a few of these listings to see if they are legit money-making opportunities or just full-blown scams. That's what I do for a living. 300, no 20s, no nothing. So to start things off, I went to Target and bought a burner computer for $200. This is gonna be used to access Tour Browser and then the dark web. We officially have my little dual monitor set up going with the dark web on one side and the legal web on the other. Just exploring these dot .onion sites with a bunch of random characters in the URL, I'm not sure if this is real or fake. When people are selling rocket launchers, COVID-19 vaccine, cards, PayPal accounts, AK-47s, random research chemicals, or stolen Bitcoin wallets, even one with a $17.6 million balance for $3.5 million. I think it's pretty reasonable to be skeptical, and before we start buying any of these listings, I want to let you guys know that it's not my intention whatsoever to do anything at all illegal. I'm simply a video creator exploring the largely unexplored database of what seems to be a lot of illegal activity, and it's not my mission to profit off of any of this. I make money legally. I'm simply trying to explore the deep web for educational and entertainment purposes and on that note let's start this video off with the least risky listing counterfeit currency which i believe is legal to hold i literally have a bunch of it that i use for youtube video thumbnails but it does feel like paper say copy on it but from a distance the money looks pretty real but when you intended to fraud someone by using counterfeit money to buy let's say a g-wagon then you'll find yourself up to 20 years in the federal penitentiary so i'm gonna spend 200 dollars over one thousand dollar budget on a thousand dollars of counterfeit twenty dollar bills the listing says fake twenty dollar bills we discreet packaging and ship all package with 48 hours after order and payment has been confirmed it also says down here grade a counterfeit money which will bypass pen test uv and other counterfeit tests bro that's literally so scary because if you think about it that means you could have gotten counterfeit money not even known it and then just spent it i just looked it up and according to the u.s treasury only 0.01 percent of u.s currency in circulation is fake, so the chances of this listing being fully legit are pretty small, but on that note, let's click add to cart. But on top of fake cash, the dark web also sells real money, which may sound too good to be true, but apparently in 2015, a European central bank disposed of about $8 billion worth of currency due to small holes in the euros along with general defects. And according to someone on the dark web, they got a hold of a quote-unquote limitless supply of this cash, and they're trying to slowly sell it for Bitcoin along with spend it themselves to avoid it. Detection. That's a pretty long explanation, but I tried researching the supposed 2015 event myself and didn't find anything, but that's not to say it didn't happen since I found other instances of stuff like this going on. The vendor also maintains at the bottom of this listing that there is no risk for the buyer since apparently buying cash is not illegal and no one knows the serial number of these supposed destroyed bills. Let's drop another $220 for $1,000 of real euros and that brings our budget to 40% spent. But while we spend this next $600 diving deeper and deeper into the world of the dark web, I want to thank this video's sponsor that makes all of this possible, aka myself. I just relaunched the Financial Wolf Discord into Hustle World, which features weekly members calls, a live podcast, come on, you're being a brokey, and different channels breaking down things like how to start reselling or an hour-long dropshipping tutorial my friend Ethan made on how he scaled a store to six figures. All of that content is live in Hustle World right now, but moving on, the rest of our budget will be spent on a stolen PayPal account for $99 with a guaranteed balance between $300 and $399 bucks, along with a website selling suspiciously cheap iPhones. A $250 iPhone 13? Sounds too good to be true. But with all our items added to the cart, it was time to check out. Alright guys, so I'm trying to check out both the counterfeit money and the lost PayPal account right now since they're on the same dark web website and it says right here, which is really weird, local pickup. I don't know if some like dude from the dark web is gonna drop it off. It wants me to pay with Bitcoins. Boom! Boom. successfully sent baby next up we're gonna try and buy the fake euros these are supposedly real 
pieces of currency, so I'm kind of excited here. And after completing the rest of the order payments for $700, I'm kind of in a weird position where we wait. I really hope I didn't get scammed, and that's kind of why I ordered from a few different websites to spread the risk out. But while we wait for these packages to come in, I'm gonna drive about two hours to meet up with an anonymous individual who has pretty significant experience using the dark web. You could also purchase hitmen, hackers, you name it, it's on there. This video is probably gonna get demonetized, but if you guys wanna support me, be sure to join Hustle World using the top link down below for just $25 a month and get all of that exclusive content I mentioned earlier along with weekly members calls. I'll make it well worth your while. And if you guys don't have the money to join right now, you can still get access to the Discord and the basic group chat. So either way, click the top link down below in the description. And now let's meet up with this dark web hustler. So we just made it to this guy's apartment. The floor mat definitely fits the vibe, but let's see what's up. What's up, dude? Good to meet you. For obvious reasons, we decided to keep this individual's identity unknown, and although he didn't want to go into exact detail on his experience with the dark web, but once it actually transferred, I found out that it 10 x the money that I had. I only put in about 100 and it turned out to be over $1,000. He has pretty vast knowledge that I think would be interesting to share. Financial Wolf meets Vice episode. So I guess to start things off, I, I kind of want to take things all the way back. When was the first time you ever heard about the dark web, and how old were you? So when I was about 14, Death Grips dropped an album called No Love Deep Web. You could only download the album through a torrent and there was a dick on the cover. Huge thank you to their record label and the name of it piqued my interest, No Love Deep Web. So I knew what love was, I didn't know what the deep web was, so I looked it up, learned that it has some f***ed up shit on there and I've been interested ever since. I had friends who said that they went on the deep web and it was all horror stories. So first few years I wasn't interested, but eventually, like I said, curiosity got the best of me and I went to check it out myself. And yeah, it's not exactly what people crack it up to be. Is that dark web just pop up or what this is tales os so this is like an operating system so think of like windows home screen but with tor on it so i can show you some of the stuff that they got here no internet browser you see you got tor browser right up there you got key pass which is for passwords you got cleopatra which is for your pgp keys some persistent storage like i said it wipes it every single time a lot of precautions must be taken when browsing the dark web from protecting your identity to preventing phishing scams so i'm not talking fishing like casting a rod and pulling up an angler what i'm saying is websites that pretend to be other websites that are made to steal your information. So the first time I bought something on the deep web, I actually ended up getting scammed. So I went to one of these phishing websites and then I noticed that my Bitcoin never transferred over. It's estimated that at least 50% of dark web websites are scams and the only known database that tells you if a site is legit or not is dark.fail. So now that we're on this dark.fail website, what does this website really do? So you see all of these markets are offline right now. Incognito seems to be working, Tor market. So what is this Bohemian Mar? Have you ever been on this website before? It's just a marketplace. And what kind of stuff are they selling on here? Legal. All of the sites I used to purchase from were not listed on dark Fail, which makes me kind of nervous, but while I was with this dark web expert, we made an interesting purchase. After doing a little bit of browsing on the dark web, I found a very interesting listing, carding videos of money being made right in front of you. Start learning from the pros best value. So these people are claiming to do credit card fraud, and then they're going to send you a video of them doing it so you can learn, I guess. The price is literally $3. Credit card fraud has been rising rapidly across the world, with 44% of cardholders last year saying they had two or more fraudulent transactions. Transactions. And as we move into an increasingly paperless economy, this is only going to get more prominent. All right, guys, so we got the zip file containing the videos, and we're going to start things off with a video on how to card where to start. Hi, this is Akin Point, and uh, follow us on Telegram by diving uh, at the Hacking Point channel. On Although very poor quality, these videos go into detail on how someone could potentially commit credit card fraud, and the fact that this information is accessible for only $3 is kind of scary. But before I left this dark web, user's house, I tried to get some details that he'd be willing to share on camera. And although he was hesitant to say anything at all, he did tell me one story. One time, I deposited a bunch of money to this website. You know, you gotta wait for a while for the Bitcoin to transfer mm -hmm. over. But once it actually transferred, I found out that it 10 x the money that I had. I only put in about 100 and it turned out to be over $1,000. I do bet for every one person this happens to, a bunch of people lose money, but he then continued on with another story on how drug dealers use the dark web. People People drop ship stuff from the 
dark web in real life. That's where your drug dealer gets his drugs. Yeah, he buys it in bulk from the dark net. So how cheap are drugs on the dark net as opposed to like in real life from like your normal street dealer? I'd say about half as cheap. Sketchy stuff, but as you guys can probably tell, we made it back to my apartment and it's officially been two weeks since we ordered stuff from the dark web. And as you guys can see in front of me, we got two packages. We're gonna start things off with the package right here. I put some white tape over the label so you guys can't see it, but we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And to my surprise, it was the counterfeit currency. Wow, from close, it honestly looks pretty real. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I could not tell you. What the hell, dude, this is crazy. The next test I wanna go ahead and give the money is I wanna see if I can find the watermark. So I'm gonna look at it from the back with this light. It's missing, it's missing the watermarks, I'm gonna be honest here. These definitely feel thicker than a normal $20 bill. But next I tested the bills with a counterfeit pen that'll turn yellow if they're real and dark brown if they're fake. And they're passing the counterfeit test with the marker like I'm scribbling all over these guys you guys can see it's turning yellow also yellow these bills were too dangerous to be on the street so although the money passed the marker test it didn't pass the UV test but even with that I think it's a threat to humanity so we have no choice but to get rid of it and look at that guys our money is burning rest in peace I can't have you anymore. But as her money burned to the ground, I realized I had another package. But when I went ahead and opened the box, I realized it was just an orange jumpsuit that I'll be wearing in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to join Hustle World down below. And if you guys want to see a part two of this, especially now that I know more about the dark web, be sure to drop a like. 4,000 likes and we'll make that part two happen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.